What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equalize Espresso and welcome back to another Zombies Challenge video here today on the channel. Today we're going to be doing wall weapons only. And you know what, this is no holds bar now. So we actually have time to probably go into something that is more than 14 rounds, which is our best here in the Zombies Challenge series. We're going to be playing on the Giant today because uh, there are some very limited amounts of good wall weapons here. Um, which isn't a knock towards the map itself, but like I know in uh, in shadows like the HVK is actually a really good wall weapon So like I would probably just use that the entire time and although it would be a little bit interesting We might have to vi revisit and do shadows um, Just to see you know where it can go on both maps so wall weapons only here with this one and uh, Hopefully we do something really well. I am I'm hopeful. I think we can do something good and uh, we're not messing with our sensor or anything like that anymore, so there's no perk restrictions, just wall weapons, that's it. Can't hit the box. So, I don't even know where the box is, to be honest with you right now. Okay, it's not in the worst spot. I probably won't use that much, though, that area. Um, unless... I know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. Because uh, I'm gonna want to pack a punch eventually, but... I think for the time being, I think we're gonna, uh, I think we're gonna grab the RK because the Shiva sucks. Let's face it. So quick revive is here. We'll grab quick revive one time. How about that? Because I know a lot of people are saying just get quick revive, man. You could have lasted so much longer, but that takes away from the challenge part of it because I think it. I think once you do that, you kind of, you kind of. I don't want to say cheat your way out of it. Yeah, jugs right here. That's what I thought. Um, because then you give yourself a second chance, which. The, whole thing with a challenge is it's supposed to be one go all right so we're gonna need to save up some points get jug and then um get jug and then open up the rooms for the teleporter so we can pack a punch because that's pretty much the, gonna be the only way that we make it past like round like i want to say 20 all right so last thing that we need to do here is just get enough points we, we i mean we technically already do we just want to open this up and then like the teleporter and then get speed maybe another perk and uh, we'll be set. We'll be golden. And we can do the we can do the cat strategy, or we can train around in the teleporter room, which I I, I might say we do. Yeah, the uh, the KN upgraded is gonna be a good addition, especially since we can now upgrade. The only thing is, is I don't get to show off my Asimov camo on this really much. Okay, I was just about to say I should probably buy some VMP ammo, but don't need to. Close. I'm close to uh close to being able to pack a punch and get speed. We need to get some more uh some more KN ammo. This is gonna suck though, cause we're gonna go through we're gonna go through all of this like in one fair swoop. Oh yeah, we're totally gonna go through an entire clip in one round here as, as we start moving up. All right, well we're not too bad. I mean round ten with ease, but uh up in the twenties is where it's gonna start losing effectiveness. We might actually hold out on uh, on pack a punching until this becomes less effective. Which will be relatively soon, but until then, I don't think we necessarily need to waste the money. Because it's going to cost a lot more for upgraded ammo. So, like, that's something we kind of want to avoid if we can. Alright, so we should be set up here for for our rounds, for our runs here. I think we're good. I find the running animation of zombies in the giant to be actually hilarious. It's just, it's so, it's so weird looking. So round 13, unlucky 13. With ease, we've gotten now to the point almost where uh, we've hit our, our max our max rounds and we're still going really strong. We're gonna be able to do this quite quite well, I think. You're gonna be in for a treat, maybe. We'll actually do quite well. Although if you remember last episode when I said, hey, I think we're gonna do quite well that round and actually like 30 seconds later, I died. So let's hope, fingers crossed, that's not the same thing here. Fingers crossed. I mean, I can't guarantee anything, but all right, so we're better now because uh, we said we're doing well and we didn't die that same round. So it's that's always a positive, right? Sitting almost at twenty thousand points too. We have a lot of room to upgrade these weapons. I think we're gonna stick with uh, with the VMP as well as the uh, the KN here. I think that's gonna be our best bets here. The Vesper would be a nice one to have, but I'm not a huge fan of the the how fast it burns through ammo. Like the fire rate is great because it can rip through zombies and an MP it can rip through people. But like, I, it just is, it's a little too much for me, I think. I feel like I'm constantly getting ammo and I don't want to sit, consistently have to sit over there. All right, so dog round, we should be good then uh, for a little bit. 
because we'll get, we'll get max ammo, and then whenever we run out of ammo next in the KM, that's when we'll go upgrade it. So maybe like round 17. Yeah, I think we'll last, probably last until round 17 with this. Then we'll go pack a punch. I mean, we have the points too, and we're, wow, look at that. Almost 200 of my 300 kills are headshots. Good ratio, I like that. Both our weapons are now pack a punched. Pack a punch! I like that it keeps your uh, your paint job on here too. Looks cool, it's got the engravings too though, like it's over top of it. 18, officially our highest round here in the zombies challenge, and it doesn't look like we're gonna be too bad. I feel like we're still good. Wow, we got a max ammo, a carpenter, a double points, and a nuke, all in one horde. Literally four power-ups within five seconds at the most like wow last episode i thought we i thought it was crazy whenever we had like three power-ups and four or five zombie kills but four power-ups i mean granted it's a horde yes but four power-ups within honestly i'm gonna say no more than three seconds actually i'm gonna say i almost just cornered myself there but we're too good for that it's gonna happen that's how i'm gonna go down that's the only that's the only way i go down when training zombies like this 19 so close to 20 boys Dog round two, free round 20. Round 20, boys. You know, the nice part about this is, is since we've pack a punch too, we haven't had to buy any ammo. I mean, granted, it's only been a couple rounds, but we've had two max ammos in three rounds. Or, no, three max ammos in three rounds if you want to count the dog round. So that's pretty baller. Excuse me while I never say that again. There's another power up, man. That's another two, isn't it? Yeah, three. Bro, what is with us in power-ups right now? Oh my god, another power- Oh god, no, no! What the fuck? That was stupid. Okay, so we can't get Quick Revive again because we said we're only doing one down. I don't understand how that one even worked out. That was just stupid, I think. I think that was just extremely dumb. Shit, no! So, that was a really good run up until that last five seconds because I got stupid with- Insta kill. I got stupid with it and then we went down. That was really dumb. I am not gonna lie, I'm really mad about that. So I think we're gonna have to revisit this. We were doing a really good run too. I think we're gonna have to revisit this and go um go on shadows sometime soon and give this one a try because again the HVK is so OP. And it's gonna be a great the only thing is this is in a terrible spot to train. Or to do anything really. So, um, that'll be the only downside to that, but really, I'm just, I'm more so, as with other ones here within this series, I'm just mad at myself. Like, that was, that was stupid. I, I don't know what I was doing. We could have gone for so much longer, but we didn't. So, I mean, I guess that's the way the cookie crumbles. But thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like down below if you guys enjoyed this. 21's the new high score. That's something to beat again. Um, it'll probably happen within another challenge video something like this where unless I do something stupid like I did It's more so uh, Attainable to get higher rounds. So thank you guys so much for watching leave a like down below We're gonna be doing a lot more zombies challenge videos here up on the channel, but thank you guys I said that like four times already uh, No problem in that. No problem in that I guess but uh, I will see you guys later. Take care and peace